Good day fine people, it's Nick here and it's time for an Amiga review. This one, prepare yourself, is Super Ski 2, published by Microids in 1992. Yes, it's a sequel to Super Ski 1, which you saw the original video of that one, it wasn't very good. Uh, this also came out on the Atari ST and DOS, but uh, consists of six events, so it's bigger than the first game. Super Giant, Bobsleigh, Slalom, Ski Jump, Moguls and Downhill. It's for one to two players, say the original game, Super Ski, come out in 1988. Although I think as Downhill Challenge may be the previous year. So here we go, let's pick our um, nationality first of all and see how we get on through the six events. Now it's the first time I've played this, no that's a lie, it's the second time. The editing times of this are something shocking, so we'll edit those down so if you play this game yourself, expect to be mainly loading rather than playing the game. Now I picked that long ahead person, looks a bit Richard Branson-y with glasses on. Uh, let's just see how this thing plays. Different results for different events. So we're going to start first of all with the Super Giant, which involves going around flags. Will this be better than the first game? I don't know, but it takes ages and ages and ages to load. Um, it doesn't look like he's skiing on a ski slope there. He's skiing in a local quarry or a sand dune. That's a bit weird. So those intro bits, those graphic interloper bits, aren't very good. But this is by Mike Freud, so there's the people we're competing against. We have to beat all those times. You can play against a human person if you want to, but there's none here, as per usual. Um, I'm playing against computers. Right, Super Giant. You can control your speed here by up and down on the joystick, and left and right to go round the flags, and that's pretty much about it. There we are, skiing in a uh, sand dune again. Let's load. Look at my man, he looks so cool. With a jellyfish on his head. Right, here we go. Right, so graphically, it is better than the first game. It's very, it's whiter than the first game, and it moves better than the first game. Graphically, it's better as well. Well, no doubt, because it came out four years afterwards. Right, left, right, go through the ski thing. Do you see my speed in the bottom middle there? I'm just trying to keep to a mid-speed, but if I push forward, I can go quicker. Um, down, I can go slower. Now, don't go off the course, because you might bump into a tree. You get two attempts at each event on this, so this video might go on a bit. I'll probably be playing it over about an hour and a half and try and edit it down to something reasonable. Yes, it takes ages, this game. Right, what do you think of it so far? Um, well, it's skiing, but it's no cool borders 1, 2 or 3, uh, come later on the PlayStation. It's Graphically, it's okay, it's just much like the first one, and so far, it's not much fun. But graphically, it is better, and the frame rate is better as well. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm doing quite well. Um, now, you see my progress, whoops, which is finally haunted, that red bar across the top, if it goes all the way to the right, then we've completed the event. And, of course, you have to go as quick as you can. There's the judges. They're not impressed, I don't think. Now, if you had this game back in the day on the Atari ST, Amiga or DOS, let me know. Uh, do those other versions differ from this at all? Music isn't too bad, it just doesn't hold together for me, but uh, anyway, Microids 1992. I don't think there was a Super Ski 3, there's a few other skiing games I'm yet to come to on the Amiga, Ski or Die being one of them, and Professional Ski Simulator, which I reviewed on the Spectrum, but we weren't very good, and not yet on the Amiga. Will there be a good skiing game I'll come across? I do not know. Now, if you make it to the end of this video, well done, because I think it's going to be a little bit of a struggle. But here's my second attempt at Super Giant. Don't bump into a tree. So here we go. I'm trying to slow my speed down. It'll be a rubbish time, but at least I'll get to the end. At the end of each event, you um, get um, presented with a podium, and if you're good enough, you'll be on that podium. So that's my aim for this review. Get on the podium at least once. I'm not overly confident that's going to happen. Now, if you fail to go through the flags, you will pick up a penalty time, and oh no, I've gone headlong into a tree again, and uh, book up the ambulance. Nina, Nina. So that's the end of the first event. And already, if you want to see how long this video's lasted so far, uh, to get a, a, an idea of how much I'm going to edit, I've been playing over 10 minutes. Yes, there we go. Please help me. Help me. I'm going to need to, um, yeah. When I reviewed Super Ski 1, I did say, um, does anyone want to see Super Ski 2? And um, uh, no one did. So here it is. Hooray! 
uh, as we attempt to review every Amiga game ever, uh, seeing the good ones and the duds. So here's the podium, here's the girls coming out with their uh, blonde hair. Am I on the podium? No. One is Greg, two is Paolo, and three is, is it Nick, is it player one? It, it's Jim. Well done him. So this is the Winter Olympics 1992. Uh, last game was four years previous, so that makes sense. Is that fitting with the Olympics? I don't know what years they were. Was there a Winter Olympics in 88 and 92? I'm not sure. Right, so I'm player one, and I'm currently in fourth place on the leaderboard. As long as I don't come last, everything will be A-OK. -okay. Skiing, eh? Right, so we've gone where we've gone to the next place. And um, I think we'll be doing what we're going to be doing next. I think we're going to do bobsleigh. Is that bobsleigh? I'd be interested to see how that works because that wasn't, there we go, through the quarry in Wales. So yeah, that wasn't on the first game. Bobsleigh, two attempts. I used to know a man called bobsleigh. It was all downhill for him. Well done, Nick. You've done good there. So, right, check out these times. 122, 132, 116. Looks like they're in random sort of like times. And their time penalties next to it in, uh, well, that's their points in red. We need to beat that. Or at least come in the top three. Place your bets. Will I come in the top three? Hmm. I'm not sure what other games have got bobsleigh in. Let me know of your favourite bobsleigh game. Loading, which takes absolutely ages. I might go away for an eight course meal and come back again. Right, here we go. Looks like vector graphics. Push. Go right now. You control left and right. You've got to stay roughly in the middle there. If you go too fast, you'll you'll go off the off the run, which will be quite exciting, right? Down, right, left a bit. Just don't go too far up. Try and stay in the middle as much as you can. Uh, speed there in the middle. Try and keep that. Oops, we're off, and there we go. And um, we, I think we're probably dead. I've never seen that in the Winter Olympics, have you? Uh, loading time there was 10 times more than the actual gameplay, but uh, not what you'll see. You'll see um, something that looks a bit better. I don't recommend this game. I really don't. Better than the first one, but that'd be a hell of a, uh, a package to um, uh, buy. Now, the box says Super Ski 2 with the number 2. Uh, all in the game, it's Super Ski 2 with the Roman numerals, so um, I, I don't know. Either one will do. It looks like two sets of people weren't speaking to each other. The people designing the box weren't speaking to the people designing the game. That is a recipe for disaster, if you ask me. Right, second bobsleigh. Let's try and get to the end. Run, 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 Rudolph. Okay, see the top right there, there's a man in concentration. There's the map below, you can see my progress, but we've got quite some way to go. Um, glancing at the map, I'm mm, you try and anticipate the corners before they come, but if you glance at one thing... Now this bit of a game, it went a bit quicker, isn't too bad. This is the best bit of the game. I do like the way those vectors are going there, that's quite cool. Good, they should have made the whole game this with a gun you could shoot. Uh, I would have settled for that, right? Whoa! Now, if anyone gets to the bottom of this, you're a genius. Doing better than last time. Down this run. Oh, ooh, ooh. Now, I sound like a bit like a, a bad Formula One car there. I like the sound of the bobsled as it goes over the ice, if that's what it is. It looks like we're going down a big drain pipe of some description. Right, where, where are we? Must be near the end now. Keep going. Don't die. Whoa, ooh. Come on, Nick. This is taking top concentration. Top Bob Slane. Uh, like, cool runnings. We'll get oh, quite near the top then. Right, I've got a tight corner coming. Oh, that was very close. Oh, dear. And that was too close. And there we go again. Uh, launched 100 feet into the air, over the crowd, and uh, into the slope or over a deadly cliff. Well, that's two events. I doubt that you get on the podium for that. They're going to need to hold up the Olympics to give me time to repair every bone in my body to get back for the next one. I know, you're excited, aren't you? Uh, which will be slalom, which is basically going down um, a ski run again. Now, in the original game, you had a choice of three slopes, the blue run, the red run, or the black run. Here, it just gives you a set course each time going to different locations. Jim was third last time, now he's first. Second is Geladal. Don't know what that means. Is that a type of curry? And, um, yeah, so there's my uh, guy, player one. Um, still not last, though, so better than those other two freaks. They're, they're not too intelligent, are these people? Top guitar music. Off to the next event. I think these are all places in France, maybe. 
you can correct me if I'm wrong, which quite often I am. This channel isn't about amazing gameplay, it's about having fun, talking a bit of rubbish, a bit of nostalgia and reliving uh, games and also deciding really if you'd bought this as a kid, what is the likelihood that you would have gone back and played it again. Now, if I'd had only this game, I might have gone back a few times, but uh, I'm not the most patientest of kids, and I'm not the po most patientest of people now, and the load times would have just put me off. Um, you have to experience it there, but I've edited this because no one wants to watch a video of huge load times. They just want to see what the game is like, and if you're looking at a black screen for a minute and a half, you probably uh, won't uh, be watching much longer than that. Right, event number three, two attempts, remember. This one is the slalom. Right, so it starts off quite similar. Away we go. Control your speed. I'll try and keep it as slow as possible. Right, right, red, blue. So you got the idea, we need to go through these, and each one we miss, like that one, each one we miss, we will get a time penalty. The red bar across the top represents how far we've gone, done on the course, so I would say we're about a third of the way there, but don't glance at that too much, Nick, or else you're going to crash. Right, we want the podium. We want to get on the podium. I suppose it might be a bit more fun with another human player here, but there were much better games you could be playing. Right, but is an improvement over the first one, so I suppose it can't be too harsh on it. If they'd done a third one, maybe they would have done a bit, um, gone better again. But I'm presuming they didn't do a third one because... Oh, look, there's a finishing line there because the first and second didn't sell very well. Right, that wasn't a very quick time. That was very steady, but at least I got to the end. And the crowd seemed quite happy as well. Right, positions... They're totting it up here. They don't seem very animated. I'd like a bit of movement there. They could have done that. It's the most boring crowd ever. Oops, he's fallen over. Right, so I did 48.2 seconds, which equates to 450 odd points. What does that mean? I, I can't remember what the times were to be on the first uh, bit. Should have, no, should have wrote those down or at least remembered them. Uh, that was about 600 or 700, wasn't they? Possibly. Mm. I'm getting fed up with this game already, but we got a second attempt of Event 3, and then it's off to the ski jump, which I presume would be quite um, uh, brief, and then moguls. I think moguls on a ski jump, it's like big bumps, isn't it? We'll soon find out. Right, go. Right, so I've got my banker in there of 40 odd seconds. Don't get penalty. Here we go. Oops, missed that one already, so not off to a good start. Turbo. Um, another good option would have been to change the colour of the um, outfit your skier is wearing. That would have been a nice touch, but no, they haven't done that. It's all red. Uh, sounds of this as expected. It does sound like skis going over the snow. Uh, the other sounds are just the, the starting um, gun as you go, or beep thing. Uh, then you've got that sort of like uh, guitar music. It's not up to the Shadow of the Beast 2 end of life uh, guitar music, but what is? That is epic, probably one of the most epic music tracks ever. The Comma Amiga could pack out some amazing tunes. Uh, that's around about the same time as last time, isn't it? 48.1. Again too cautious. I should have pushed forward on the joystick to increase the speed, maybe. But there we go. Uh, I'm my own worst enemy. So we're halfway through the game, believe it or not. I think you know already, don't you, whether you would have bought this game or not. If you was heavily into the Winter Olympics or skiing events and watch it on TV, you might have bought this, but I don't think the longevity would have been huge. There's certainly not people talking about it now. If you spoke to people that owned an Amiga back in the day, or retro circles to say name a good um, Amiga game, no one's really going to mention Super Ski 2, I don't think. They might mention Super Cars and Super Cars 2, uh, but Super Ski 2, um, that's not really going to happen. If your favourite game of all time is Super Ski 2, I feel a bit sorry for you, but be brave, comment below, say why this is your favourite game of all time, uh, I bet you can't with a straight face. And I bet your name is, you might be Jim that keeps coming in the top three. Because it does help, nostalgia is a big thing, if you only back in the day nothing else, you might have played it a lot, so it's attachment to memories, but um, yeah, you couldn't have had many other games, I don't think. Well, I'm second from last, that's good. I'm ahead of Martin, so in your face, Martin. I don't think he could have skied before. Let's try and pull this back then. Uh, next up is the ski jump, which I was absolutely hopeless on the first game. I couldn't work out what to do, mainly because I didn't read the instructions. So I imagine something equally as bad here uh, in my gameplay, but with slightly better graphics as we jump over this quarry again. 
Was that Eddie the Eagle? I don't know. Looks like he's had his face burnt. Maybe he landed on the Olympic flame. It's possible. Right, so remember these points here. You've got uh, Martin, Jim, 25 points. There's a bit of a range. So anything edging towards 100 points then, uh, might, oh, we're getting about 116, 118 points to get on the podium. Let's try and work this out then. As the, as the music slowly fades away, hopefully. Right, oh, it's loading again. Good. Um, hopefully I keep my glasses on during the jump. Microids. What's this bit? What happened there? Did I just do a bad jump without realising? I think I done something wrong there. What happened there? I don't... Right, here we go again. Don't know what happened there. A little bit of history repeated. I don't think this is loading properly, folks. No, don't know what happened there. I don't think this is loading properly. Anyway, so there would have been a ski jump there. If you can get that to work, let me know. Should have loaded the ski jump there, where you go down a thing and jump, as you like most ski jumps. So let's skip that then. Oh look, I'm getting another go, am I? Is it going to load this time? I just want a ski jump. I'm getting terribly confused now. Loading. No, um, I, there must be something wrong with the disc. Now, if you know what happens there, then uh, uh, let me know. Let's just get out of that bit. So that, that event was a non-event, number four. Wouldn't load properly. Here is the podium. In my practice go, I never really got off the slope. Don't know what's happening there. Um, there was a bit of a messy there, so I might have to edit that so it doesn't look quite bad. In the middle of that, I did have to reload it. Um, but yeah, I'll cover that. So the gameplay might look a bit weird there, but there was a ski jump event, but it just, um, on this occasion, just wouldn't load. So let's get to the next event. You didn't miss much, to be honest. And now it should be, uh, Moguls. Bom, 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 bom. What? Does that mean going over Mogul, or is it mean playing golf? That's, that graphic is hideously bad. That's rubbish. Who got away with that? Right, so here's the things we have to beat here. There's Greg. Shoot us. Paolo. I don't think you can edit those names. That would have been good if you could do. Oh man, I'm just sitting here wa watching things, waiting for things to load over and over and over and over again. I'm still here. Right, moguls. I'm the one on the left. Uh, the computer's on the right. Here we go. We're both dressed up like X-Wing pilots. Right, oh god. Left, right, left. I think I'm doing this alright. And then once you go over the moguls, you can press fire button or a combination. Do stunts. I'm not doing any. Whoa, go Luke Skywalker. Or Wedge Antilles or anyone. Oh dear, I think it was Paul Kins. And I've, I've hit the snow there, so I'm dead. And now it's the computer doing all flashed up as he goes through. Now this bit of the game, the graphics look a bit like um, the animation of the snowman. Those slopes there. Yeah, so this bit does look kind of cool graphically. This is, a, yeah, this is probably the most best looking bit of the game. But I can't get the hang of it. Would I have gone back to this as a kid? No. Would you? Let me know. Whoops, oh dear, the computer man's there. So I have to wait all the time for him to complete it, and he does. Great, so I'll get another attempt at that, unless it don't load properly, and I'll have to reload the whole game. Du, 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 du. Super Ski 2. Right. Come on, Eileen. Super Ski Numerudu. Yeah. I'll have to, I won't be playing a skiing game next week, I don't think. I think we've had our, our spill of them. Normally I would have left the game by now, but I just want to show you all the events. So we do this mogul thing, which I'm sure I'll fall over again. Uh, well, ooh, that was good by me, and that wasn't quite so good. So yes, X-Wing pilots make great skiers. Maybe they're on the ice planet of Hoth. We can only hope that one of those big Imperial Walkers come along, or Atats as they known in the trade, and fry us. And we don't do a Luke Skywalker where 
they, they shoot us for ages and then it's just a hologram that steps out. I mean, um, yeah, that The Last Jedi and Star Wars, that was quite a weird film, wasn't it? When I say weird, I mean disappointing. What was the point of that Rose character? Well, it's more of a point to her than uh, this game. But this, anim yeah, take it, can't take it away. The animation of this bit is great. Uh, there's a good game here waiting to get out, but um, yeah, I don't know why it takes so long to load each time. Um, I could make it a little bit easier, but that's just me talking, and generally, um, I'm not too good at games. Anyway, uh, Microids, I think maybe connected to Loris Hill, certainly was the first one. Get out of here. Right, we need to speed this up a bit. So we've got one event left, and it's downhill, and then, thank goodness, we'll be out of here doing something else. Here come the girls. Now, if you don't like this game, there's plenty of other Amiga reviews to uh, watch. Check out the uh, Amiga games playlist on the channel, and hopefully you'll see one you like. There's, uh, well, there's a few hundred games there now, and we're keeping going, at the moment, a rate of one a week. So, you know, we might bump into one um, that you had at some point, but I'm sure we've done already. All the main, all my main favourites are there back in the day. One of my favourite games is Stunt Car Racer, Lotus 2, uh, Speedball 2, Great Giant Assisters, all those sort of games. But I do like seeing the uh, more obscure ones and the poor ones uh, also. Right, okay, right, downhill. We'll try and... Um, is, is his pole bent? That's not very good. But we'll try and be a bit more cavalier here. It's the last one. It's my last chance to get on the podium. Will I get on the podium? Place your bets. Do you think I will do? Um, there's nothing to suggest I will do so far. Because the first five events have been hopeless. But I'm sure I would have won the ski jump. Had it had loaded properly. And I hadn't had to, to reset the whole um, thing. So yes, apologies if that bit looked a little bit weird. Is it okay to ski on sand? I suppose it would have less traction than snow. Is it possible? I don't know. Right, okay. So, let's try with the speedo there. So, I'm going quicker than I normally would. Slow down, down on the joystick. Let's try and get some speed here. Here we go. Right, the, this track, the way um, it's um, animated like this, the way it moves, it reminds me a little bit of Lombard RAC Rally, strange as that may seem. I think it's the whip of it. Uh, and the way it's like um, a uh, pattern there, but oops, into a tree. So this isn't looking good for the podium. One last chance. Now, think positive. Show me, send me all your positive vibes into the video. Try and imagine me getting onto the podium and not bumping into a tree. And that positive energy is sure to get me to the end. We, we could hope. And then it's the end of Super Ski Tool forever, unless you load it up yourself, and I can't think any reason why you would want to do that. Why would you want to do that? You must be insane. Loading. Cowabunga, dudes. That's that thing that man might say. Right, last chance. Last chance. Right, concentrate. Right, accelerate the speed. Just try and stay in the middle of the course. If you do that, then everything will look good. Steady. Check out the red bar at the top there, how far I've got. I can't look at it too much, because if I hit a bump or a flag, I might be catapulted into some woodland. And uh, travelling at this speed, woodland to the groin is not going to be brilliant. That was close, right. right this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad so far. Just inside of that flag. That was, that was quite close. Try and stay to the inside. He's hugging the bend here. S speed up, slow down. Good, this is better than before. Now, I think we're just about over halfway at the top of my eye. Good jump, that's good. Hop, hop, hop. As they say, well, you sound ski Sunday. This is looking. Oh, God, don't mess this up, Nicky. We've got a good bit of speed here. Good bit of speed. Who put all these trees either side? So oh, who put these trees either side? Not me. Oh, look, accelerate. Is this going to be the end? This must be, a, oh, that must be a good time. Good. Well, that's my best event so far, and I saved it right to the end. So if you've watched this video right till now, well done you. Obviously, you've got nothing better to do, but I'm glad that you are here. Uh, there's probably about just two of you, or one of you, or there might be none of you. Hooray! Right, 1 minute 04. What was the point? 622 points. That's good, isn't it? What did I have to beat there? Duh, duh, duh. Let me know if you played this game up to here. Let me know if you can beat that. Right, the podium, the moment of truth. 
The moment of true player one. I've done it. I come first. Well, maybe this game isn't bad overall. No, that still doesn't res that still doesn't rescue it. It's plain average. Uh, if you're into skiing and you compare it with long load times, then this game isn't that bad. But if you're like me and not really into them and just want exciting games that are done well, then it's uh, extremely poor. Well, not extremely poor. It's uh, middling to poor, I would say. With a bit of disc swapping thrown in. Hmm. I think uh, I think now we go to the closing ceremony of the Winter Olympics. And then that'll be it. I don't know if I can be bothered to wait that long for the darn thing uh, to load. So I think we'll call it today there. Thank you for enduring during that game. But we saw all the events, apart really from uh, a ski jump there. I'm not I'm not one of these two free winners. So that was Super Ski 2 on the Commodore Amiga, published by Microids in 1992. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro or some amazing ski fact, uh, then let me know. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.